Hi guys, welcome back to Fairy's Tutorials. No, it's that time of the year when you get to do your first practical SBA, right? So we're looking at in today's session SBA number one, breakfast cook cream. Come, let's unpack the question together. Stay tuned. SBA number one, guys, it's entitled Breakfast Cookery, right? Now, let us look at this session's focus points. So, we'll be looking at the definition of the key terminology. We'll be unpacking the SBA question. What are the tasks? What is expected of us for in order for us to perform each task that is in our assignment that is in the question, all right? And we'll also be looking at some samples of suitable breakfast choice for this particular SBA. And as a bonus, some suggestion for portfolio entries for SBA number one. And you know this particular entry for your portfolio, you can title it breakfast cookery all right let's get into things so the key terminology here it is very important for us to set the foundation to have a have knowledge of breakfast before we actually plan and prepare the breakfast all right now breakfast this term this is the first meal of the day right so this term refers to the first meal of the day usually eaten in the morning upon waking up from bed its name implies breaking the fast of the night while we are asleep all right now let us look at some types of breakfast breakfast menus vary with the country and location breakfast begins the first meal it should be light and easily digested right the dishes of breakfast depend upon the customs, habits, and seasons. Do you agree? Right? So a breakfast in Jamaica may be a different type based on those items that are on a Jamaican breakfast may be different from uh, those that are on a continental breakfast or an American breakfast. All right? Now, let us look at the different types. So there is continental, and this breakfast consists of most uh, quick breads, uh, ready to uh, like cheese. Uh, we may say cold cuts like ham and like uh, jams and jellies, hot beverage, fruits, uh, ready to eat cereals, right? As as it relates to the American breakfast, they may have eggs, pancakes, waffles, toast. As it relates to Jamaican specialties, you know, there is Akian saltfish, salt mackerel, as well as fried dumplings, plantains, you name it. And then international specialties would be a mixture of different nations, all right? That is influence, that's influence that breakfast. Good. All right, now let us look at the components of a breakfast. A good breakfast is balanced. The dishes are simple easy to prepare and easy to eat right depending on a person's needs and circumstances breakfast may also be light medium or heavy now the following items are usually included in a breakfast right so let us look at the components so we have fruits or fruit juice or juices then there is cereal so we speak about uh maybe ready to eat cereal such as corn flakes with milk or it may be cooked cereal such as cornmeal creamy wheat oatmeal um peanut banana par porridge whatever the case may be based on the location and based on the type of breakfast the next we'll have like bread stuff or ground provisions based on the culture so bread stuff would be like quick breads and we're looking at we look further on into this uh session we look at what are quick breads all right there is also a protein dish which is normally from food from animals or it may even be the legumes group and also a hot beverage all right 
no let us know it's now time for us to look at this sba questions good and based on the content that we've just looked over i i hope that we're better able to uh suitable dishes would come to mind when we're looking at the different tasks that are needed to be done all right so work activities your aunt jessica is finally home from her studies overseas Plan a welcome home breakfast for her consisting of the following. Now let's go back there. It says that your aunt Jessica. Now and I know that when we're cooking, when we're preparing a meal, we, not, we like to prepare a lot or several servings, right? But bear in mind that we're preparing for what? We're catering for one person, which is your aunt Jessica all right now the things that are required that you must have in your breakfast are a fresh fruit dish two breakfast proteins and they should be suitable to the accompaniment below which is a a batch of quick breads and choice of one hot beverage as well as a milk based smoothie a very nice question isn't it yes it is all right now let us look at selecting a fresh fruit dish for the breakfast right so that is the first that task that you have to do so you may do like a, a tropical fruit salad or if you want to have an arranged fruit platter right no for example the selecting a suitable breakfast protein you can have eggs sausages cold cuts bacon food codfish sorry salt mackerel baked beans or even cheese right so those are suitable proteins for breakfast now the next component or the next task it asks a, for a batch of quick breads now what are quick breads a quick bread is any bread leavened leavened with a chemical leavening agent right rather than biological one like yeast or sour dough so a quick bread is any bread that is leavened by chemical leavening agents and those chemical leavening agents are baking powder or baking soda now these breads are called quick breads because as it relates to the preparation time they are easy to prepare which is one so once and after we have prepared them we have to quickly after we have made the butter or the dough whatever the case is we have to quickly we know, fry them in case of fried dumplings or we go ahead if it's a dough or we go ahead and we put them in the oven why is this so chemical uh raisin chemical leaveners or chemical raisin agents such as baking powder and baking soda whenever they are moist so whenever moisture is added then it starts to release the carbon dioxide and we don't want to have a flat product do we so as soon as we prepare our quick breads if it's our banana bread if it's our corn muffin or our corn bread we have to go ahead and put it in the oven so that uh, we can have uh, the correct uh, leavening um, taking place all right so examples of quick breads that you may have for your breakfast you may choose from are fried johnny cakes or we may say um, fried dumplings biscuits such as baking powder biscuits or buttermilk biscuits scones english muffins crepes pancakes and also cornbread or we may also have corn muffins all right now selecting the hot beverage you know you can have your herbal teas such as maybe what it may be mint it may be lemongrass you can have your hot chocolates or your coffee now it is very important that we use the correct method when we're preparing our hot beverages right and one such method that is used for herbal teas and other hot beverages is steeping right so steeping the fining steeping it is a specific process of teas being prepared by drinking by leaving the leaves in heated water to release the flavor and nutrients right and that is known as steeping so it is a process by which we prepare tea for drinking by leaving the leaves 
in heated water so that the flavors can be released and also the nutrients can be released or we may say leached from the herbal plants or leaves right so that we can have the flavor we can have the flavor in the form of hot liquid to make the teas also very important so that we're serving tea you know you also need a tea tray if it's herbal tea that you're doing or a coffee tray or a hot chocolate so you set up your your tea your hot beverage station for service right which you whether it's be your sugar or your sweet other sweeteners that you may have for that particular tea maybe honey maybe sugar maybe condensed milk it may be cow's milk whatever the case may be based on the tea that you've based on the hot beverage that you have selected all right then the final thing is your to select a milk based smoothie no examples it may be strawberry it may be one fruit it may be a combination of fruits so you choose there's a variety but whichever one you choose ensure ensure that that whatever enzyme that is found in that fruit do not react with the milk so we have to be very careful when we're selecting our fruits for our milk based smoothie now what is a smoothie a smoothie is a drink made from pureed raw fruits and our vegetables using a blender a smoothie often has a liquid base such as fruit juice dairy products such as milk yogurt or ice cream and in our case in your case it's a milk based smoothie so therefore your liquid base would be milk you can add yogurt or ice cream whatever the case uh, may be all right now let us look at some sample breakfast menu options that you may want to um that can inspire your choices all right so the first one that we have here is tropical fruit salad with orange syrup right scrambled eggs that's one protein grilled if you have a grill at your school or fried sausage could be another protein and then with this what what uh quick bread would be suitable we have buttermilk biscuits right and hot chocolate and to end it off it's a banana strawberry smoothie now remember if you cannot if you're having trouble finding a milk based smoothie which you sh which you shouldn't have remember substituting the liquid the base of the liquid for milk is an ideal way of getting you a quick milk based smoothie all right an example of breakfast could be pineapple and melon platter stir fried codfish with bell peppers baked beans so the baked beans there would be coming from the legumes group right and the codfish would come in from the food from animals so we have to remember because sometimes we have vegetarians so persons who don't eat any strict vegetarians at that too who don't eat any form of dairy products or or animal flesh all right and so the suitable uh quick bread there we could have fried dumplings all right and then coffee and also banana smoothie our final two examples we have here first we have pineapple boat surprise with orange cinnamon syrup so you can be creative with your fruit dish you can serve it in a pineapple boat you can serve it in a melon boat whatever the case or if you just want to arrange it on a platter or put it in a salad bowl with an arrange of fruits you can all right first protein vegetable omelette next we have crunchy bacon to go with that omelette pancakes and maple syrup or lemongrass tea which is a herbal tea and you may also have mango papaya smoothie all right the final sample we have here tropical fruit platter with pineapple syrup right poached eggs sauteed breakfast sausage and then we could have scones going with this all right mint tea and also banana smoothie all right so to make I, I am confident that you are able to now select your dishes select the uh, correct uh items for your dishes and remember when you're selecting your proteins for your two proteins they should be easy to cook and easy to eat and also proteins that are easily digested something that is suitable 
for breakfast all right so that is it for the video if you have any suggestions if you have anything that you want to query any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section